Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate. This is a channel where we're going to kick your Excel skills into a higher gear. So in today's episode, I'm going to bring to you today dynamic pipe charts. So this is very exciting stuff. So please hit that subscribe, hit that like guys. And without further ado, let's get straight into this one. So I'm going into my desktop here. You'll see I've got a blank slate open here, so I'm going to right click and create my new Excel spreadsheet here. And I'm going to call it a pipe chart. So guys, as I'm filling this in, we've got a few subscribers on our channel. So please guys, let's uh, contribute to the channel, let's motivate this and let's get some more subscribers. So I'm waiting for the pipe chart to open here. There we go, opening up, just gonna bring it up, up screen here. All right, so this is our blank sheet that we just created, and now we're just gonna populate in some data. So I'm gonna start here in A1, and we're gonna say country position. So we're gonna work with uh, three countries. Let's work with Australia, and Ireland, and my home country of South Africa. There we go. All right. And let's say we're tracking some sales uh, per country. So let's start off with 2018 here. I'm just going to tap through to D1 and say 2019 and then tab to F1 and say 2020. So I'll explain my method to the madness now here because we're going to try and replicate a pipe chart here. So let's say the position of, the, of Australia in 2018, they performed the worst. So let's put it as a one here. Uh, Ireland did, did second best. So we're going to put a two here. And South Africa performed the best in 2018. We put a three here. And I'm just going to say here in C2 equals B2. I'm going to drag the formula down. In 2019, let's say Australia move, uh, stayed in second position. Ireland went to the best and South Africa dropped to the last position. I'm just going to copy over the formulas here in C2 to C4, control C, and in E2, control V. Right. And in 2020, let's say Australia stayed at the second position. Ireland went down again and South Africa went up again. Perfect. So E2 to E4, control C, and in G, I'm going to say control V and paste the data in. All right, so that, there we've got some basic data. I'm just going to format this and give some borders. And let's say here in I2, I just want to replicate some of the data. Uh, I2 is going to equals Australia. And I'm just going to drag this formula down here. And then I'm just going to say here yeah, X axis. And then in K1, I'm going to say Y axis. And then I'm just going to use a count formula here. So I'm just going to say equals count. Open brackets. I'm just going to highlight from B2 to G2. Hit enter. So I just want to count the columns. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the sixth column was the last column. And I want that amount to show in our X axis here. And in our Y axis, I'm just going to link it to the last column here. So in K2, I'm just going to say equals G2. And I'm going to drag down the formula. Perfect. That's all the data that we need for this dynamic pipe chart. So I'm going to explain my method to the madness now for you guys. So first off, let's insert that chart. So a pipe chart or a dynamic overlapping pipe chart is actually a line chart in disguise. So or a glorified line chart. So let's put in a line chart first. So from B2 up until G4, I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to go to insert here at the top hand side ribbon and I'm going to insert a normal line chart here. There we go. So this is our line chart that we just replicated. It looks like the pipe because we put in the data in double. So that's the method in the madness there. So I'm just going to link chart title. I'm going to say left click on the chart title. Uh, sorry. I'm going to say equals A1. 
equals A1. So it will dynamically change it to country position. So you can change this description here. So what I'm now going to do is we're going to replicate this pipe chart. So I'm going to click on the line, double click on the chart. So it opens up our format uh, chart area on the right hand side. I'm going to left click on the data control. There we go. Just left click on the data. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width here on the right hand side to 20 and hit enter. So that cr creates this nice looking pipe chart here that we want to replicate. So I'm just going to do the same with our second set of data here. Double left click on it on the full range here. I'm going to go to width. I'm going to change this to 20 points. And on the bottom one, exactly the same. I'm going to put in 20. There we go. So that's our perfect line chart here. So now let's link the left hand side uh, data labels as well. So I'm just going to left click so it highlights all the data ranges. Right click and add data labels. So there we go. It adds those data labels there. But I only want the, the left one here. So I'm just going to left click so it highlights the little free here. Hit delete, the one, delete, the one, delete, free, delete, free, delete. And in this free, I'm just going to left click, equals, and I'm going to, which is the first, it's Australia. This is our first country here. So it was first, oh sorry, this should be South Africa. So I'm just going to say equals South Africa. So South Africa was the best performer then it went to last and then it went to the best performer again so the second one i'm just going to do the same left click so it highlights all these data ranges right click add data labels and just this little two delete the three here delete delete the one and the little one here so it's only the two i want to say equals and the second one was ireland so i'm going to link it to a3 and here we go there's ireland and the last one is Australia. I'm going to right click, add data labels. I'm going to just left click this one, this two here. I'm just going to left click and delete, left click, delete. Only want this one equals South Africa. So however this changes, the name range, oh sorry, this must be equals Australia. Just want to equals Australia. There we go. So let's say South Australia was the third best and South Africa was, was the uh, last. So I'm going to change 2018 B2 to 3 and South Africa to 1. And you can see it automatically changes and the name updates itself as well. I'm just going to undo twice. And there we go. It changes as it's supposed to do. So this is a perfect a line or a pipe chart, a glorified line chart. But now let's put in some extra uh, functionality as well. So you may, you notice I insert the X axis and Y axis as well. So we're going to insert another chart in this pipe chart as well. So what I'm going to do is I want the signature or the country flag here showing as well on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first insert uh, some pictures. So I'm going to go to insert pictures from my device. So I've already got some preloaded pictures in my uh, computer here loaded for us. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here and I'm going to load in these three images here. The South African guy, the Australian bloke and the Irish uh, lad as well here. So I'm just going to highlight image one, two, and three. So guys, I downloaded these images in uh, Google images. So you're more than welcome to go get these images as well. So I'm just going to highlight them, insert. So it inserts all three of them. So it's quite big. So I'm just going to drag it down to make it a little sizable for our chart here. So I'm just going to bring the Australian guy here and the Irish guy as well. Let's put it in order here. So it's South Africa, Ireland, Australia, South Africa, Ireland, Australia. And what you can do is just um, hold in control, click on left, click on the South African guy, Irish guy and Australian guy. You go to format here and then in the right hand side is a line and you just align it to the left and you distribute it 
vertically as well. So now it's perfectly distributed as well. So now let's get into that uh, second graph here. So we're going to, oh, and firstly, we want to change the X axis as well here. So I'm just going to left click, double left click on our chart here, select data. And here on the right hand column, go edit. The range should be 2018 up until 2020. And we just hit OK. So that changes our X um, axis as well here. All right. So let's in insert that uh, extra chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a little scatter plot chart here. So I'm going to click on our chart, select data. I'm going to go to add here on the left hand side. And the series name is Australia, our first one. And the series value is what we're going to do is we're just going to put in our X axis or Y axis currently and hit enter. And we say, OK. So now this is Australia, but it doesn't, it shows up here as a line here on the right hand side. But we don't want it as a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the chart type here on the right hand side. So we're going to change it to a combo. And now what we're going to do is we change the series one back to a line. We change series two back to a line. There we go. And now Australia, we're going to measure that as a scatter, scatter chart. And we're going to hit OK. So now you'll notice Australia co comes here as a dot on the left hand side. We're going to change the formatting of our pipe chart now once again. All right, so there, there is Australia, and now we just want to click on that left, left click on that one as well. It highlights this, and now we're going to go to select data once again. You go back to Australia, and you're going to go to edit. Now you will notice it gives us a X, val X va um, value as well. So I'm going to hit the X value equals, X value is 6, and now we're going to change our, and we're going to say OK. So now if we hit OK, you will notice that little yellow block or little block spot here went from the left hand side to the right hand side, exactly where we need it to be. So I'm just going to left click on the chart once again, select data. I'm going to go add series name is Ireland. X value equals this one here, J3. And then our Y value equals X okay free as well so we're going to say okay okay so now you'll notice there's another dot here for ireland there we go perfect and now the last one is obviously south africa so i'm just going to go to left click on the chart again select data add one more we're going to go for series name it's going to be south africa x value it's going to be six here and our y value is going to be k4 Okay, so that gives us our very last dot here. So now this is where the magic happens. So first of all, we can delete these series. So you can left click on the series here. We don't need it. It's not going to add any value. We can always take this descriptions away on the left hand side as well because it doesn't add any value. We can just hit delete because we're going to see who ended up first in 2020 uh, as we go along. All right, so now let's change our labels once again. Label. Left click on the South African label, go back to this, change the width to 20, Ireland, left click on Ireland here, change the width to 20, and back to Australia, go to the width, and hit 20. So now this is where the magic happens. So now let's see, South Africa ended up first in 2020, perfect, and now look at this little dot here. You see this little dot? So what we're going to do is we're going to insert these pictures in here. So first of all, I'm just going to go zoom in a little bit. So on the right hand side, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And now I'm just going to double click on this picture and I'm going to remove the background. You're on the left hand side. So I'm just going to drag it up, drag it down. I'm just going to choose the areas that I want to keep. So I want to keep that eyes there, the rugby ball. Very nice. I'm just going to show this is all, this, and I'm just going to keep the changes. This is changing the background so it's transparent. So it doesn't show this little block. Sh sh so it's going to show it transparent. And I want to add a little glow. So you left click on the picture now. Go in picture effects here. And we're going to insert a glow. A level 3 glow. So let's use a grey one because this is a South African is the grey color here. The Irish fellow. Double click on the Irish fellow. 
remove background there we go there we go and now let's just choose areas to keep once again i want that pot of cold i want to keep the eyes there we go that pot of gold is it showing up hopefully it shows up uh, it's a little bit skewed let's try once again i wanted to say top of the morning to you i want to have your pot of gold here there we go just choose the areas to keep the highlights the pot keep again there we go that's perfect that's exactly what i wanted to do just gonna zoom it out a little bit and i'm gonna give it a nice irish orange glow there so picture effects glow level three orange glow there we go perfect and the last one was a crikey mate we've got an australian here with a nice Australian blue here. So I'm just going to remove the background once again. There we go. I just want to choose the areas I want to keep. I want this north. Nice. North you've got there. And uh, keep the changes. And then it's a little blue here. So let's add that little Australian blue. Uh, blue. Nice. So now this is where it all comes together. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And now South Africa is the gray one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image, control C. I'm going to click on this little dot. So it highlights the little dot here and I'm going to hit control V. And there we go. Perfect. That changes our little South African guy on the pipe chart. The Australian guy here on the yellow. I'm just going to left click on the Australian, control C, click on the yellow dot, control V. So that inserts our Australian um, fellow there. And the last guy, Irish lad here, top of the morning to you. You're going to hit Control C. You're going to click on the blue and you're going to hit Control V. That's very nice. There we go. So I'm going to highlight these pictures. I'm just going to take it away here. And now for this nice dynamic flow, let's change the position of Ireland to 2. Australia to one and you will notice there we go it changes dynamically as well so let's put Australia to three Ireland to one and South Africa to two there we go this works perfectly guys so there you have it dynamic pipe charts in Excel as easy as that guys so guys if you like this video please hit that like hit that subscribe i'm going to bring you more excel awesomeness so that's all from me for today and i'm going to see you next time guys cheers